I know. <laughs> so this is, oh my God, this is Salvador. Salvador is amazing, and he was on America's Got Talent, so we have celebrities, and I love my body, body fitness boot camp. Salvador has a great story about how he got here today. Yeah, so yesterday was my birthday, and I was out with my friends. We were partying. It was a really great time. And my friends, some of them were saying, oh, no, you know, don't go skip it. It's your birthday. But I had one great friend say, no, you've set a goal. I'm going to call you in the morning. I'm going to text you. This morning I woke up. He called, and he texted. I was ready to go. I'm going to ride my bike for an extra motivation. And then all of a sudden the bike's flat. So I decided, I said, oh, I should just stay home. Maybe that's the sign. But no, I stuck it up, said I, was, I determined myself to go, and got in a cab and came out here with four minutes to spare. So, yeah, that's amazing. amazing. Good job. Uh, you girls, Honestly, you girls so. are awesome. And you girls are motivating us tremendously here. So. Yay. Good job, Salvador. We're <laughs> proud of you for getting here. Thank you. So that is how you combat those roadblocks. Yep. All right, once again, we have Salvador here. Salvador has, um, he's truly embraced this 24-day challenge. Um, he's kicked some major butt in it. So, Sal, tell us a little bit about your experience with the 24-day challenge. Yeah, so with the 24-day challenge, I really didn't know what I was getting into. There was a thing we were talking about, 10 days, and there was 14 days afterwards, and I was like, oh gosh, it's one of those other you know, tricks again. But I decided to give in. I mean, there was a lot of people excited about it, and I believe it was Christmas. So I said, hey, I spent the money and did it. Uh, after the cleansing, this is 10 days, I lost seven pounds. And it's just staying true to wow. what they said on there uh, and just committing yourself to it. And so at the beginning, I committed myself and I said, I'm going to do this. There were a couple of times where I was challenged and, and I thought, okay, I failed and I could have given up, but I chose not to. What were the times? Embellish on those a little <laughs> bit. Tell us about the uh, times you were challenged. The challenge was, uh, the, uh, one was when I went out and uh, my friend and I were told we had a day plan for like months in advance and so we went out and got a little petty manny and uh, a little announced to me, I forgot there was a mojito that was, that was with it. Um, <laughs> it came there and I didn't even think because I was on this plan and I drank it and then I started getting like really shaky and I'm like, what, why am I excited? And I realized it was the sugar and that was day three. And, uh, and I realized the impact of that. So that was the first and only time during this whole thing that I had the uh, sugar intake. But after that, I got back on it. And I could have quit there and said, oh, I already cheated. This is day three. I'll just start again. No, I just stayed committed to it and, and accepted the, the issue that I had. I moved on. And, and at day 10, I was seven pounds lighter. Each week, as I continue on going, I see the results. Um, my waist is shrinking. I'm down to uh, 34. What were you before? There, uh, I was I was about 36, 37. Wow. I size wanted to 36. be 36, but I'm sure it was a lot bigger than that. So, <laughs> so you were uh, maybe like a size 38, and now you're yeah. a size 34 yeah. in your pants. Uh, my 34 pants fit a little looser than when I normally. I, I saved them because two years ago I could fit into them, and wow. I could fit into them again. Yeah. Um, my energy level is amazing. Uh, I just feel so good in the morning. I have that water, I drink it, have my, and 30 minutes later having my uh, breakfast. It's all, and it's all about planning, that's the whole key too. Planning yeah. your food, um, making sure your portions are correct, uh, and just enjoying what you're doing, enjoying the difference you're making, not only in your life, but in all the people around me. I see people and they're like, wow, Sal, you've changed, and I now want to do this, and I've encouraged others to do it. I have a great friend of mine who said, you know what, you're doing this challenge, I'm going to do something too, and she decided to do a marathon. She's been overweight, she's a single mother, um, and because of me vlogging about going to the gym and coming to work out Saturdays and boot camp, um, she got encouraged and started walking and actually did a half marathon. So, wow, uh, it, that's it, an it, incredible story. Yeah, it's, the 24 ch day challenge is a little bigger than even us. Yeah, you know, we think it's just about us, but we don't realize the people who we impact around us and yeah. it makes a difference in so many other people's lives. That's awesome. And I, I want to back up for a second because you were talking about how this has helped you in portioning out your foods and planning and shopping and preparing for the week. Um, what's your strategy on that? Like, how have you been so successful with that? The good thing is, uh, one, I, I actually really like is the blogging. Uh, when I see other people's recipes on there, that helps out a lot. And also on Sundays, I go and get all the food for the entire week. I go and portion, cut everything, all the vegetables, have them all in one big lump thing, and then just portion them out for the week. So in the morning, so actually that evening before I go to bed, I portion my food out. I know what I'm eating for lunch. I know what I'm eating for dinner. And I have even my snacks, like if it's going to be blueberries or it's going to be fruit or it's going to be vegetables. Everything's portioned in the small little containers, either a Ziploc bag or the, um, the Ziploc um, 
uh, little little containers. Little containers, yeah. right? That's smart. And uh, and for me, not to forget about my vitamins that I do, I pack the vitamins when each put these put in each of those items. Oh, They're nice! That's a good idea. So, so now, you pack uh, yeah. the pre-breakfast vitamins, or excuse me, that you probably take those at home, and then the breakfast vitamins you have with your breakfast, mm -hmm. for the snack vitamins you have with but, your snack. Yeah, got and it. I have the, with my with my lunch. I have it right there. So everything's there in, my, in the morning when I wake up and drink the water. The morning uh, uh, vitamins are there. The water he's referring to is our cranberry with tons of water mix. There it is. Yeah, it's right here. He's put it inside the Odwalla container. Yeah. <laughs> not because he's drinking that, because yeah, that's lots of, lots of sugar in there. But anyway, yeah. so we won't get into that now. Yeah. That's neither here nor there. All right, thank you so much, yeah. Sal. Thank we you. are really excited about your 24 day challenge success. And he's also part of our Your Best Body Fitness Challenge, yeah. and and who knows, we might we might have a winner on our hands. Yeah. We'll see. All right.